Alright, so now that we're in the design tool and we've become a little familiar with the basics, we can go ahead and get started designing. Um, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is add a background to our ball. So we can go up to the top left hand corner and we can select the skins icon and this will bring up all of the backgrounds that we have. So we have a vast library of backgrounds. Uh, the most popular backgrounds will load first and so you'll see here on the right we've got plenty of different backgrounds. These are all just sort of various color changing backgrounds and then all the way below we do have some football backgrounds as well and these will be tailored to the sport that you're designing in. So all the backgrounds that first load, you'll see like these stripes, if you select one of these, it'll bring up the color changing options. So all of these stripes can be changed to exactly what colors you need. So let's say we want black, we'll change this blue to a yellow, and we'll leave the red the same. So you can really tailor the colors of a lot of these backgrounds to exactly what your team colors may be. Um, any of the backgrounds that don't look photographic typically are color changing, so if you select one, the color palette will load and you can adjust the colors accordingly. Um, any of the other categories that you'll see here on the left are typically going to be photographic categories. So if we click designer, for instance, it'll load all of the um, sort of designer backgrounds that we have. And these are just photographs that might give your ball a different look or feel than sort of the color changing ones that we have. Um, but today we're going to design a ball for a player, so we're going to go with the football background because I think that makes the most sense. So we can go ahead and just select the football field background from the top. And it already is going to be sized perfectly to the template, so we can just go ahead and click done. There's no resizing necessary. And now our background is in our template and we can get ready for the next